Go. Go. After two years of streaming, is it easier to deal with critics, boss? Mm, I don't remember how badly I felt about critics. Do you? Do you? <laughs> two years ago. Hmm. I mean, it always depends. Every now and then, there's always like certain critics which are which are more like hater comments let's be real that get to me every now and then that hit me in the right spot but i think it's just that two years ago the amount of shit that i was getting was just so overwhelming there was like no way from for me to even escape it and it was just so much so the sheer amount of it was just unbearable it was really bad like it's, it was about everything it was about my voice it was about my design it was about how i was um having lots of technical problems it was about the microphone it was about how i act in collaborations it was about everything it, it and i was like trying my best you know at everything and i read the critiques which were more like hater comments they're not really nice <laughs> so that was, a, that was a tough time, yeah. Mm. There's some things I, I can't do anything about. It's just like, you're shitting on me because you want to. Surely there's room for improvement, I agree on that too. But it's hard to do. It's hard. Certain things are just engraved in your personality or, you know. It's just, it's just a, you can't just snip your fingers and bam, everything is different now. What about fair criticism? I don't see much of that, I feel like. <laughs> Most of the time, it's either nice praising comments or really shitty hater comments. <laughs> There's rarely an in-between, honestly. <laughs> Some people are worried about offending you. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.